You need motivation? Tune in now. Hey, what's up? You rocking with the one and only D man. And today we'll be talking about women embrace your natural. Women, you guys are beautiful, wonderful individuals. And I feel like all of you should embrace your inner beauty. Embrace your natural beauty. Embrace who you are and how you come and how you look. In society nowadays, you know, with social media, music videos, TV shows, commercials, there's so many things that they just throw out there that just cause confusion, make you feel like you're not up to par, all the products they're creating, all this weave. I know with a lot of black American women or African women sometimes, you know, they start to feel some type of way about their hair. Oh no, I can't, I can't show my hair, I don't like how it looks. Baby girl, you are beautiful regardless of how your hair looks. Take care of it, facts. But at the end of the day, embrace it, love it, appreciate it, because it's a part of you. Some people get comfortable and use so much weave, it starts to damage their hair. And then it becomes a problem. It gets, you know, you can get infected, people laugh at you, oh, you don't got no edges, you know, it's painful. Some people use so much makeup, you know, some white woman or different girls that use a lot of makeup, and they'll wake up and be like, I can't, I can't go outside without makeup, without makeup or lipstick. I can't do this. And I'm like, embrace your natural beauty. Yes, hair products. Yes, makeup enhances. It makes things look, you know, a little more fine-tuned. But at the end of the day, embrace who you are. Don't hate yourself or hate how you come because of what society is throwing out there for you to believe. We are all beautiful, handsome, in our own type of way, our own type of right. And when we start to down us, because of what society says, or what we see, or what we believe, or told beauty is, then we start to feel some type of way about ourselves, and that's not how it works. Nowadays, you see commercials, you see uh, music videos, you see on social media, people be on Instagram and Facebook, and they'll modify their picture. They'll filter it, it won't even really be them. They'll filter it and make it look so good, and change and modify, instead of just putting themselves out and feeling comfortable with how they look. They'll take a picture, shh. they'll take a couple pictures, shh, try to get their best angle, shh. 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 and go through them, pick the best one and filter it. Try to make some of them look skinnier. Try to make some of them look, you know, a little thicker. Just doing different things and it's like, why are you doing this? Like. Are you not happy with who you are? Are you not happy with your natural beauty? Are you not happy with how you were blessed? Appreciate everything about yourself. Learn how to tell yourself you are beautiful every morning you wake up. Learn how to embrace your natural hair. Learn how to do it in a way whereby you feel very comfortable and you can step out and you're not ashamed. You should never be ashamed. You say, I don't like my hair, but that same hair that you guys used to attach weave to is what keeps that weave on, right? So you should learn how to appreciate your hair. You should learn how to appreciate your natural beauty. Don't feel like you're ugly because of what social media or what social construct throws out there. Because we are the people that make this world. And you have to embrace yourself, appreciate yourself. Do things to boost yourself. Always tell yourself that you're high in value, you are worth it, you are worthy, you're valuable, you're priceless. You cannot be brought. When you build and you accept how you come, then people will respect and accept you. A lot of guys don't like all that fake, 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 fake stuff. Some do. I'm not one of them. But there's so many things you have to deal with when you're trying to fake and you're trying to enhance your butt, you're trying to enhance your lips and do the Kylie Jenner challenge and all that stuff and trying to look a particular way. Some people, they've injected their lips and they have problems. Their lips will be swollen and it'll be infected and it'll never look the same unless they go through, you know, years of surgery or they go through something that help them correct it. And that's more money, more pain, more problems. Someone will inject their butt and die in the process of doing it or die after it's been done because it got infected and it wasn't right or it's messed up it just looks weird at times embrace your natural beauty you know we see a lot of men do like women with big booties and nice butts and nice shapes and stuff so women want to like fine tune and fall into that to get attention and feel beautiful but at the end of the day sweetheart if you have to do all that to get a man you have to change your appearance and change your inner looks 
then that man don't want you. He just want what he see. You should be able to just go out there and attract somebody off how you look, off who you are, off your natural beauty. Don't throw that to the side. Don't hurt yourself and feel like you have to go under the knife just to look better. You are already beautiful as you are. And sometimes people will do surgeries and stuff like that and it messes them up. They come out worse. I watch a show called Bot Surgeries and it shows how a woman would do certain things or guys and they come out worse. They'll try to grow their breast, grow that bigger breast, bigger butt. Appreciate yourself, love who you are. Everything about you is beautiful. Just because the world says, hey, we want one more big this and big that and big that doesn't mean you have to change you. That's a knock you out of any category here. You're in your own lane. And you should appreciate that and respect that. Embrace your natural beauty more. Love yourself. Don't do things that's gonna hurt you and bring you down. Tell yourself you're beautiful on the daily. Go days without wearing weed. Do things to your hair. Embrace it, appreciate it, love it. Go days without makeup. If you do apply makeup a little bit and start to build that confidence within yourself and do more for yourself. Like Also, when you don't embrace your natural beauty, it leads to like different problems you can deal with, like low self-esteem. You lower yourself, you put yourself down, and that puts you in a predicament whereby people see you and they feel like, okay, I can take advantage of this person. This person don't think they're beautiful enough. This person doesn't think they're up to par. So you start to settle for less and deal with experiences you don't want to deal with because you've built yourself or built your mind up on a lie that you're not beautiful enough without this, that, or this, if you don't have bigger breasts, you're not beautiful. If your butt ain't big enough, you're not beautiful. If you don't have hair that's long down to your back, you're not beautiful. Learn how to embrace your natural beauty. Learn how to tell yourself you are beautiful and you are worth it. And when you put yourself up in the light and you are in high esteem, you're in high posture, you position yourself in a high place, you will attract what comes with it. When you settle for less, you put yourself low, you tell yourself you're not up to par, you're going to get everything that comes with that too. So make sure you remind yourself, you are beautiful, you are worth it. Embrace your natural. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this piece, please subscribe for more content. And if you would like to give any ideas, you can leave that in the comment section below or email. To donate tips or resources, you can also do that with the links posted. Thank you, have a great day.